Hey everyone, Wanabot here, and welcome to Core Devourer, or welcome back to it if you caught my previous coverage. It came out back in January, and I missed it somehow, so we're just going to dive in. Uh, they've also added components, so you can actually find um, passive installable perks, uh, as well as like a bunch of other options, difficulty settings, and all sorts of other things. And I have no idea what I'm getting into, but I'm excited to do so. Uh, let's see, uh, we're gonna have to go through a little bit of a tutorial, but that's fine. So, right mouse button for a special attack, there we go. Seems like a big nuke ability. Unless that... I did use my special ability, though. Okay, there, it's gone. And it's just, it's trying to tutorialize how, the, how this game works, even though I've played it before. I get it. I understand it. I just, I don't know. Okay. There we go. Now, can we actually... Nope. Defeat enemies, get experience. There, now it's dropping. It doesn't drop in the earlier parts of the tutorial, and, uh... I was apparently using a gun that did not exist in the game's current state, or at least I don't have it unlocked yet, and so it wasn't letting me progress, so I had to start the video over. Not that it matters too much. So, anyway, a couple of things about this game. Uh, it has a Nova Drift style... Nova Drift inspired talent tree system. However, it also has, um, boon rarities. So, for example, you have green, you have blue, purple, and I think gold. And so the different rarities come with different levels of power-ups. Uh, just random stat boosts associated. So bullets that hit enemies or obstacles release electricity. That's not bad. Call down lightning after hitting an enemy. Every time you kill an enemy, it explodes into three smaller bullets. So that's not bad. Every dash fires four bullets. Burst bullets gain piercing. I'm curious about the three smaller bullets. Does that... Is that based off of my own projectile? And then we also have dark matter. I think I'm going to go for electricity. A little bit of chain lightning isn't a terrible idea. Uh, and that extra fire rate is nice. Okay, so we have to destroy the horde. Enemies are going to come. What we should probably do, though, is go on adventures. Because I know there's magnets. And we want to grab whatever we can. If I get three shots, fire a bullet from behind, sure. And because it's homing, uh, we don't care about that. Yeah, this is what we're looking for, really, is we want to wander around looking for any kind of major meta progression that we can possibly find. So space debris fall from the ground, bullets hit and destroy enemy bullets. That's kind of good. We can also do a banish if we want to. I know space debris is fun. I just don't know how much I actually want to care care about that. So let let's go for the um, let's just let's just focus on my main attack here and see what we can get. There's some more. And fortunately, because I've got homing attacks, it doesn't really matter to me what side enemies are on. A big explosion's worth it, though. Okay, bursting shot. Kill an Every time you kill an enemy, burst into three smaller ones. Yes. And they are homing. Yes. So we might actually be able to get inf infinite cascading death. The main question is, one, can we get enough range? Two, do they trigger the chain lightning? These are questions that, if answered, are probably going to get kind of silly. Hopefully. Okay. So, extra bullet is homing or piercing. Well, we already have homing. So we don't we really don't want homing rear shot. Chance to fire poison bullets. Crystal spikes from the ground every two seconds, does damage. Let's see. Bullets burn enemies. Or chance to fire poisoning bullets. Chance for bullets to explode when hitting a burning enemy, or extra damage to poison enemies. Unfortunately, none of these are particularly good at the moment. Let's just go for the burning. Because we, we might as well actually go for some extra proc effects. Between the rear bullet and the, uh, the cascading bullets, if we can actually trigger some procs, rather than going specifically for direct damage, that might be a good idea. Okay, don't need homing. Piercing rear, rear shot. Six shots, fire an extra piercing burning bullet. I don't know if I'm really going for a... Um, 
I don't really know if I'm going for a... Oh, that's what the burning bullet does. That's less exciting. I was hoping it would have the native homing. But it is not. Well, red bot. Yeah, let's just keep scooting around. I know eventually we get magnets. Ooh. Legendary. Extra bullet. Fire one extra bullet every shot. Duh. I was wondering if we were going to get that. Yeah, we lose a little bit of damage for it, but it's fine. A 10% damage reduction is hardly a problem. In my opinion. I'm gonna kill the sound effects a little bit. I don't know, there's just something about pachoo, pachoo, pachoo over and over and over again that's I think gonna drive me mad. This it's not a Wanderbot video. Oh cool, it does have auto aim just built in. Nice. It's not a Wanderbot video without some degree of me just wanting to turn sound effects off. Okay, extra bullet gains three piercing. I wanna see how that works. Collect energy, defeating enemies, collect catalyst by killing special enemies. I guess we already collected it. Or something? Question mark? Well, one way or another, yeah, we have infinite cascading death kind of starting. Uh, what I mean by infinite cascading death is we want to get it to the point where the homing bullets... Let's see, dashing, deflect enemy bullets. That's actually really good. None of these are actually good for me. So yeah, this way we can deflect enemy bullets uh, if and when we run into boss. Because we are. Uh... Can't deflect that, though. Uh, but what we want is the bullets that come off of an enemy that we've killed. Uh, let's see. Extra bullet gains. Even more piercing. I thought I already had that one. I have no idea. Let's see, and the extra heart doesn't help too much. I kind of wish this was actually one of those games that the extra heart containers that you're not using. Mithril for upgrading things. Cool. Um, if if you're at max health and you pick up a heart, it should almost give you like a, a quarter of a heart piece. Damage and fire rate when you get hit for 60 seconds. Cripes. Dash fires a bunch of bullets. kind of like, actually. Let's go for it. Because now I can start dashing around a bunch to fire even more shots or something. Clear that field. Eventually we'll find a magnet. I've seen them around. They're like that health shrine that we saw earlier. Let's see. Let's hit and deflect enemy bullets. It's tempting, but I think we're going to go for the epic poison bullet. Because the more, the more status effects I can kind of stack here, kind of the better. Because uh, all of the uh, the secondary effects, the, the bullets that come off of like killing an enemy or the butt shot or other such things. Um, if I just do auto fire, do I actually fire? No, I still have to click down, so we don't want that. Not that I really need auto fire anyway. There's the magnet. Okay, enemies hit by electricity have a chance of being stunned. Four killed enemies calls down lightning. I don't know. Well, the precision stacks aren't bad. Let's go for the precision. Since we have homing, that should just be really good. For each stack, we get extra fire rate. Every stack, we get movement speed. Let's go for the fire rate. Every six shots, fire six bullets in a circle. Ah, it's the extra shot, I see. Oh, we're already homing. Yeah, let's do that. Every six shots, we fire more bullets. Six shots, poison, dash is poison puzzle, puddle. Eh. Yeah, let's just go for poison bomb. So because I have homing, hopefully, we can just go kind of a Impressive here. Four killed enemies calls down a lightning. That is the one I wanted. Is it the one I wanted? I don't know. I'm gonna banish the uh, electric field. Echo after dashing. 
That's okay. Yeah, let's just go for lightning. We don't care too deeply about it. Actually, maybe we do. It does kind of go into that whole infinite cascading death thing. Sure, 15% chance to fire four diagonal bullets. It, we're somewhere between infinite cascading death and uh, so many projectiles it becomes silly. We have already reached that state, frankly. Most of these... How has this game gotten goofier since the last time I played it? Some of these perks definitely didn't exist. I think that's part of it. First bullets increase from three to four. And we want those range increases. The longer my range, the better. Because if I can, uh, if I can hit things from far away, uh, or the longer my range, the more those like um, bullets that come off an enemy after the enemy has been slain, um, the more likely they're going to be able to hit stuff. Okay, another marker on a random enemy every six seconds. If it's hit, it explodes. I mean. This gives me movement speed. Let's go for that. Uh, let's see. Every two stack, gain one piercing. Sure, what is this? Oh no, that's my crystal sphere. Echo dash, nah, that's fine. Let's just go for the damage. Looks like we've got some Chivos too for collecting certain things. Wall magnets. Okay, is that the boss? I have no idea. Yeah, that looks kind of bossish. It looked kind of bossish. Yeah, there are higher difficulty levels that I can unlock, and I'm going to need to unlock because uh, I might be too strong right now. Here's a question. Do I just pick that up automatically? I do, so I don't have to worry about getting close to it. Nice. I can't believe that I missed the release for this. I would have actually played the heck out of it, but oops. I don't know. It's been a weird year. After firing your last round, six bullets in a circular fashion. 5% fire rate. I mean, we might as well grab last shot, even if it's common. Okay. I'm just going to keep scooting around. I might have to kill all of the sound effects. It's one of those where it's like, it's kind of nice, but what I want in games, especially Bullet Heavens, is I want slightly dynamic music, and I know that's a hard sell. Um, but it's one of those where... I almost want the music to become an instrument of its own, or the music, the um, the sound effects to become an instrument of their own by the time uh, I've gotten to this point. Like, if I'm so absurdly powerful that the sound effects become onerous, I want it instead to just become kind of like a an extra instrument or two tied to everything else. Instead, if that makes sense, we have rocked this game so hard, most enemies have just stopped showing up. They're dying off camera. And the only immediate problem that I'm having right now is a lot of my attacks are... Uh, or... My movement speed is limited based on... firing? Like, if I stop firing, I'd move faster, but I want to keep shooting for obvious reasons. Okay, there's the heavy fire. Sup, nerd? How fast can you melt? Pretty fast. Okay, is that the end of the run? Yeah, that was the end of the run. Hopefully the runs get a little longer on higher difficulty levels. So we now have energy for augmentations, which I already had some. The reason why that was a joke is because, uh, whoopsie-doo, I've actually unlocked and upgraded quite a number of these. Let's see, what do we want to do? We're looking for boon rarity. The other thing is you can actually turn on an overload, uh, which gets you a boost. 
So like this one, you can turn on the overload and switch, but you have to complete it first. So 65% chance to collect all experience left on the ground whenever you get hit. Ah, that's why. I was I was actually playing a completely different game, uh, Boons and Burdens, which I guess came out yesterday, where I was specifically asking for this kind of meta progression tree. Having these options here is not the first time I've ever seen this in a game, but in my opinion, it is generally, this is the best way to handle meta progression. Where, sure, you're gaining stats, but ultimately it's just a soft difficulty curve to kind of match the game getting harder. But when you hit maximum, you get choices. I love having choices. Because now I also have to look at this and be like, hmm. Oh, yeah. Increase EXP, but reduces movement speed by 15%. That explains some things. Number of component slots by two, or component slot that enhances the installed effect level by two. Eh. Ability to banish a power up. So, okay, so we don't have this one at all, but that's fine. I think I just want overall higher rarity than specifically legendaries. So, extra movement speed, dash cooldown, shield that blocks one damage, recharges every five minutes, max HP, restores HP when you get killed. What else do we have? Chance for... Chance of critical damage. This is not actually critical damage. Mag capacity by one. Mm, I think I'm just going to unlock this one and increase my max HP by a bit. Oh, that's a one perk. I could be even slower. That would be slightly silly, but it would be funny. Oh, you know what? Let's... Max out my range. Let's just do... Let's do the overload. We're always walking. Okay, let's take a look at components, because I got a couple of new ones. Extra move speed, HP, and experience value. Yaw. Oh, I have more slots, too. Extra fire rate, and we already have that one. So, I guess I'll put it on. We can also upgrade one of these. Oh, but they're very expensive. Might be worth it, just not yet. So let's, uh, other thing I should look at is I could unlock the plasma shotgun or we could unlock the blast fire. No, we can't get that. Yeah, sure, plasma shotgun. Let's give that a shot, try something new. We can also spend the white crystals to get some other features for this. The game has a lot of layers and I appreciate that greatly. So let's take a look at this. So, complete the level to Unlock. Okay, so we haven't done Frostbite Fortress yet. We can also scale this up. So Swarm ampli Amplification. So number of enemies. Quantum Spectral a Spectre that trails the player. Oh. Explosion occurs near you every once in a while. HP of enemies. Speed of enemies. Spawn rate of traps. Bosses gain more HP. Some of these I don't like. Some of these I like a lot. Uh, do we want to go to the Frostbite Fortress and just dunk it? Yeah. Let's go for some variety. Even if we're going to overpower this one thoroughly. And let's go for auto abilities. Maybe. The shotgun seems fine. Ooh. Music's bumping. That's the other reason why I wanted to turn the sound effects off is I actually like this music. It's very, um, very synth wave. And I suppose I'm a sucker for that. Releases an electric field every 12 seconds. I know he's walking through. Take extra damage. Oh, it's just extra damage. Eh, gonna grab it anyway. That extra move, move speed is nice. Oh, they do take damage in there. Good. Boy, I have like a ton of HP now. That is appreciated. Okay, reload time, damage. Ah, bleh. I guess I'll just go for that. We'll go for the rarer perks more than anything else. Yeah, this is just the stuff that I listen to every once in a while when I'm working. Especially when I'm doing art. Actually, uh, enter Berserk mode every 40 kills for 5 seconds. When, when Berserk do area damage to enemies. Whoa, that's kind of good. That would have been really good on the last run. 
This is why one of those difficulty settings. Uh, scale up the number of enemies I'm dealing with. Why not? Like, I'm just going to crank that to maximum and have a very good time. <laughs> Probably. I could have a very bad time. There is there is the very real possibility I'm going to get overwhelmed. We'll see. Uh, let's see. Three shots, fire a bullet from behind. What I want is this. I do really appreciate that the rarities only affect the bonus stats. So you don't have to go for it if you don't want to. Let's go for the Crystal Sphere. I, I want to go for passive damage ups, just like the Space Debris, the Crystal Spheres, the the Lightning Auras, the you name it. I just want the the like little bits. Is that a trap? That's a trap. Ow. Oh, it popped off my shields. I don't really care about that. Okay. Yeah, space debris. Yeah, I don't want that one just because one extra bullet on the triple shot shotgun isn't that amazing to begin with. The one problem with the space debris is who knows if it's even going to hit anything. But that's why I wanted to do this on a lower difficulty level. I've been hit. Oh. Okay. So I know about healing. Oh. Chance to fire freezing bullets, freeze enemies, echo, echo dash, or berserk extra fire rate, berserk movement speed, fire rate. Okay, the space debris is kind of fun. What I'd love to see are some really rare power-ups that increase my AoE by a little bit. I'm noticing it's mostly like fire rate and some other things, and like, that's not bad. Time needed for a space debris to fall for five seconds or impact probably radius. Let's go for the radius. And one other thing I I would hope, but it's probably not likely, I don't think space debris scales off of my fire rate, which I would actually say is a bit of a mistake. Not a huge one, but uh, I find a lot of bullet heavens, especially ones where you unlock like extra power-ups that, uh, or like extra stats. Let's see, do we want the frost fire? Could. Crystal Sphere moves faster. Make it bigger. Summon two. Chance to fire freezing bullets, frozen enemies. Uh, how would I describe it with the space debris? It is unsatisfying to get a passive ability or an uh, a secondary ability that does not scale. Because what's the point? It's better to just put all of your effort into one thing. So like it might it might and it probably does scale off of damage. But how cool would it be if Frostfire affected it too? As a twenty percent chance to be an ice meteor that falls down as well. Like some of these aren't going to work, but some should. Do I want the extra damage? I suppose. We'll go for the frost. And kind of within that vein, I think, uh, and I, I don't actually know if this is in the game or not, um, but I'd love to see it where, like, once you've unlocked, say, freezing or burning, uh, some of the stat ups, instead of just being fire rate and damage, would actually affect, like, your chances of poisoning an enemy or your burn tick rates. You know, some bonus stats that are like, oh, this is specialized. So if you have like a couple of the passive abilities, maybe you get, um, or passive abilities, secondary attacks. Yeah, so the three shots from behind really does only just, that's eh, fine. Two space debris fall simultaneously. Nah, let's do the marker. Uh, but yeah, so if you have like a couple of abilities that are not like attached to your attack, so the space debris, the crystal sphere, and maybe one other thing, you unlock some passives that actually single them out and do cool things. While dashing, deflect all enemy bullets. Also, dash cooldown by 10% is just, that's nice.
There's a magnet, a safe magnet. Technically what we need is health more than magnets at the moment. Okay. Bullets hit and deflect enemy bullets. Sure, might as well grab that. Almost maybe if it was one of those where um, space debris, uh, or rather than dash cooldown, it's just overall cooldown reduction. And that triggers off of anything that has like a cooldown. Um, or that affects anything that has a cooldown. So specifically the uh, space meter is falling. I'd even say that that crystal thing moving, you know, have that be affected by cooldown reduction. Little bits like that would be uh, nice. Just for the sake of, like, feeling this is worth building into, or I can build into this thing. Uh, let's see, fire rate. 20% chance for bullets to call down lightning after hitting an enemy, which we do kind of want. It does seem like that scales every 1.5 seconds, so maybe it does scale off of fire rate. Let's go for two space debris, just for the sake of it. And yeah, maybe some of this is actually already kind of taken into account. I could be wrong. It's not uncommon the devs actually know exactly what they're doing. And I'm just stating the obvious. Uh, let's see, four shots, piercing freezing bullet, bullets that hit enemies release lightning, which I do like the lightning. I'm gonna go for the energy shield though. A little bit more moves and speed is actually really helpful. I should go get myself some HP though. Oh right, I should probably also get the boss thing. And yeah, we're just not uh, clobbering nearly as hard. I think it's because I'm not prioritizing bullet weapons, chance. Let's see. Shield gets bigger. Second rotating shield. I like that, but let's go for the lightning blast. It is part of my like goal to have just a bunch of bonus attacks. And I should be cruising looking for more hearts. Because we know we can also find magnets. So I'll just kind of drive by everything. What? Not sure. I'm not sure why I got knocked back there. Unless maybe the uh, explody bot. No, when they die, they don't explode. Okay, dark minion that circles around doing damage, or back after being summoned, I want the other one. The extra fire rate is nice, but I don't care too much. Well, Berserk, gain crit chance. No, let's go with this. Well, actually, no, let's, let's go for that crit chance. Okay, there's some experience. Oh, right, I forgot, this has a secondary attack. I forget what that does. Second rotating sphere. Crystal sphere rot moves faster. I do like the size of it. I'm gonna banish Irene's aid. I don't think I care too deeply about that one. Let's go with that. Make it go a little faster. Okay, so it seems like I lobbed kind of an explosive as my secondary. Oh, there it is. That's how I know when it's triggered. How, what, what hit me? What hit me? I just got my health back, rude. After being summoned, yeah, dark matter orbs. I like the Nova markers. I haven't actually identified where they are yet. Or at least I haven't seen them proc. It's probably just like an effect on the characters, but.
it's maybe fine. At least we got the bonus health. Or not the bonus health, the uh, the free invincib invincibility shield. There we go. Summon two crystal spheres simultaneously. We do also have the lightning minion. Both are great. I'm gonna go for the lightning minion. I don't know about the crystal spheres yet. I'll have to check if this actually has like a DPS meter. Because that wouldn't be a terrible idea. Oh yeah, how much damage to the Spacer Breeze? Eh, 288, so they do scale off of damage at the very least. Okay. I only have four shots, so... Ooh. Lightnings deal area damage. Fire it. 7%. Or I could get last shot. No, let's go for Storm. Can I check while I'm here? Hmm. Yeah, the reload time, dash cooldown. Uh, let's see. Where's space debris? No, every seven, seven seconds. So it seems like that's locked. It doesn't scale at all. It's a bit of a downer. Would have been cool if you could actually scale that up so you're getting even more debris. I think they are doing a fine job, though. I just want them to do more of a job. Also makes me kind of wish that there were some interesting things that would pop on the map. Just like a, hey, go here, do this thing. And then here's a holdout point. Here's a, uh, here's like a chest with an augment in it. like none of these. I like the burn damage is okay. Let's just go with Dual Nova. Oh, it's that. It's the one that makes them look like they're explodey. Of course. The bullets that pass through the shields. It's kind of good. Releases bursts of Scarlet Energy that deal 50% damage when you're near enemies. Let's do it. Oh, so it's it's the little, like, shock tendrils. Gotcha. I'll take it. Scarlet Monolith, you say? You can't catch me. I'm too fast for you. I'm actually not sure what's going to happen if I just don't go near it. I was hoping to find at least, like, one health up. Let's see, Poison Swirl every couple of seconds, dealing a bunch of poison damage to nearby enemies. I'll take it. Oh, it is it is actually coming for me. Okay, we need to care about this thing then, maybe. Nice part is, uh, because I have the bullet reflection, it gets to shoot itself. Whoop, that was, that was bad lag. I'm gonna hang out in here. And boss day. I guess that wasn't the end boss. We've got at least a little bit more. Yeah, we're very much looking for more of these orange spheres if we can find them. I like the idea of the bullet reflection, but since no enemies shooting at me, it's not that important. Uh, let's see. Inks increases the range. That's kind of good. Frequency of the burst or range. Every time you kill an enemy, it explodes into those. Let's let's go for the range on the Scarlet. Okay, get yet another magnet. I'm just swimming in magnets. Okay, there's there's some beautiful health. I'm actually up to, uh, I'm actually up to three somehow. Maybe the boss dropped something, I don't know. I wonder if I reflect a shot, if I can take, if I can hurt myself by walking into it. Mm, not, 
not cruising to find that one out, but it's an interesting question. Okay. I mean, we could go for the ice dash. Sure. Okay, I think you're immune. Yeah, I, th I think my biggest beef is going to slightly be I want I want to see some upgrades that affect like ability cooldowns and AoE size considering Yeah. I am totally safe from bullets that I reflect. What? An enemy that shoots back? It did. Uh, some some AoE and some cooldown effects. Just so I can make like Poison Swirl even better. So like if you get the upgrade that makes makes it so Poison Swirl has like a bigger AoE, that increases the base. But if you're getting like an extra 30% on top of that, it's even better. 80% chance of summoning two Dark Orbs? Yes. Yeah, my entire goal here is just to have kind of everything fight for me. I don't hate this shotgun. Oops. I don't hate this shotgun as a concept. It's mostly just a it's not nearly as reliable as uh, homing rockets. And so if I can instead have just like Every, the whole world exploding around me because of my abilities, that's probably a good thing. There we go. Uh, do we care? I don't think so. Yeah, that was it. And no, there's no DPS meter. We did get a nano recharger, but that's not really that good. Okay, so we do have the Blast Fire Cannon, but we don't have enough money for it. Gravity Blaster, Boomerang Bullets, capable of striking multiple targets, and we also get Gravity Orbs. Sure, let's do that before I go back to my homing rocket and just be boring. Uh, boss Slayer, complete a match in less than seven minutes. Ooh, eh, it's doable. That's... Go with this. Uh, if I rate by 20%, sure. Decreases special attacks cooldown of your core by 40%. Does decrease your fire rate by 15%, which is probably, yeah, it's probably not worth it. It's just, there's no cooldown reduction for special attack. I don't know about that one. Ooh, shield that blocks one damage, increases the damage by 10%. I'll take it. The rest of these are not that good. Okay, so what do we do? We could go to Relic Forest, but I think I want to go back here. Ooh, extra energy, higher rarity components. So let's see what else we have. Yeah, do... Which of these... Okay, so we can only have one Quantum Spectre. Blast Zone is terrifying. Resilient Foes, I think I'm going to leave off for now. I don't know about Speed of Enemies, that's terrifying. I'm going to leave some of these on. There should be... There should give me a lot more energy to spend on things and also cool components. Uh, anything else? No. Scarlet Nightfall, let's see how we do. I guess I didn't really test the boomerang gun. I like the customizable difficulty options. I think the only thing I would want is more. Okay. So, um, 
I was not expecting the Spectre to just be this. Okay, so we desperately need some movement speed here. This, this got funny. In like a really, this could screw me over way. Uh, damage and fire rate by 30% when you get hit. Yeah. Okay, every time you kill an enemy, it explodes into, sure, smaller bullets. Woo, boy. See, I was ex... Oh, wait. Oh, the explosion... The explosions are different from the specter that follows me. Ha. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Three shots fire a bullet from behind, poison swirl, or bullets hit and destroy enemy bullets. All of those are kind of good. Let's go for the rear shot. Okay. Well, this got exciting. Uh, let's grab that 11% move, move speed bonus. All right, I'm already feeling like way more confident about what I'm doing. I don't remember what my alt fire does. Or does it split it? I have no idea. Uh, let's see, I ran aid. No, let's, let's do last shot. Okay, shield gets bigger. Tempting. Let's go with that one. Vengeful Spear, whenever you take damage, increase damage permanently by 10%. So we actually want to take some damage here. As that's a boost. Uh, Yeah, I'm probably not going to get better than that. Okay, so we no longer have to worry about the explosions catching up to me, and my damage is getting good enough that I can kind of punch through these guys. Traps are tough, though, and I can't double back on myself particularly well, but that's fine. We've got pretty good magnet upgrades. I'm going to take some damage. Extra bullet is a homing bullet. Extra bullet is a homing bullet. But we already have infinite piercing. We definitely want the ability to reflect enemy shots. Let's do the chance to lightning. Every dash fires for four bullets and my dash cooldown goes down even further. I don't know where the tag-along is exactly, but um, I'm not too concerned about it anymore. Oh, oh, nope. What was that? I leveled up, but at a really bad time. Mid-dash. I don't think spacebar should, uh, should trigger a selection in this. Okay, so there, there's the follower. Okay. Increase by 15% chance for bullets to call down lightning. And even more range. Yup. With this gun, that extra range is uh, massive. Okay, lightning do area damage, absolutely. I don't know what he's doing. Reloading or something? Doesn't matter. Okay, we are good. After firing your last round, gain move speed for three seconds. Yeah, so we could use some fire rate here. this. Yes, yeah, so we're, we're cruising now. You know, earlier I was kind of blasé about this game, thinking that it's like, yeah, it's kind of easy. 
I am so very glad that I've been proven wrong. This is way more engaging. Okay. Yeah, let's go for that one. I'm gonna just get rid of Irene's aid. Disc blast every six seconds. If it, sure. Also gives me even more range. I have no idea what this disc blast is. That's completely new as far as upgrades go. Ah, that's what it do. I'd actually love to see a couple of um, a couple of upgrade trees that show up after you've completed them. So like if you get both of the like two of the lightning related abilities, there's like a lightning mastery tree that shows up and has kind of its own unique effects. Test to fire four bullets diagonally, absolutely. Yeah, the bonus traps haven't been too bad. I haven't been walking into them. I don't know if this run would be possible with the shotgun, but everything else is working great for me. Let's just keep scooting. Looking for more magnets at this point. We're most most assuredly due for a magnet, a heart, a something. I was hoping the extra... Well, there's the heart. Uh, I was hoping the extra trap spawn rate would actually mean more of the turrets, but it looks like that's a no. Would have been nice. Doesn't matter. Yeah, I, um, uh, let's see. What do we want to do? Since the range of the disc explosion, chance of firing poison bullets. Let's just do that. I don't know. Seeing as we're already specced into disc blast anyway. Kind of a why not. Definitely want to see if I can give this thing some homing. I'm not sure what homing orbs would do, but uh, those could be really fun. Oh, that, that actually hurt me. Didn't count as a magnet, though. Do two disc blasts simultaneously. and we have heavy fire. But the one problem is bosses are kind of messy with the AOEs and everything else. Huh. I wonder if there are any upgrades that increase dash range, because that actually would be kind of handy. Do that. I could have gone for the stats, but I might as well add some electricity up in this mix. Right, I should also be just holding down, down right click, or no, I have to mash it. Slightly unfortunate for me. Oh, did he just die kind of off camera? So we did. We take those here. Lads, I'm fiending for a magnet right now. Just toss it right in my face. It'll stick. Alone. I'm actually really hungry. It's probably why I'm just saying slightly inane stuff, is that it's like, it's food time, but I wanted to sneak in one more recording before I sat down to eat. I've been too leisurely lately, and it's a problem, because I need to actually knuckle down and get some work done. I say too leisurely, but I'm still burnt out. Ooh, those disc blasts blasts look fun. Do we want to go berserk? Absolutely. So now every 40 kills, uh, I go berserk and that makes all of my attacks, I think, do AOE or area damage around. I have no idea how it actually functions, admittedly. Uh, let's see. Extra bullet is homing. No. When berserk, it's more fire rate. I want that extra bullet as homing, but... We'll get there when we get there. They really don't want me to get any magnets. Ah, 
Oh, that's what those guys do. I thought it was a charging attack, but no, it's it's big lasers. It is funny how much I've just like completely sort of trivialized everything and I'm now just like goof moding it. Like the beginning of this run was spicy as heck, and now that we're here, it's just like we feels good to me though. I I like having I like having a challenge to overcome. I don't like being constantly stressed. And so it's very satisfying when it starts hell and then turns into kind of just fun times. Once you get strong enough. Uh, let's see. Even more crit chance? Yeah. I don't know how perpetual berserk mode is. I'm assuming it's pretty constant. Alright, screw it. I'm actually just going to take some damage here. There we go. Uh, let's see. Enemies hit by electricity have a chance of being stunned. Whoops. Oh, Scarlet Monolith is up. Let us go give it a schmacko. Nova Marker, Echo, heal for 400, 400 killed enemies. That's actually really nice. I could actually see some of the boss's patterns being a worry. Oh, there's a pickup range upgrade. I wonder if a lot of them are actually just associated with the um, ability. Extra bullet is homing, homing orb. I don't think I'm gonna be able to see it in action though. There's just too much going on here. Well, that was lucrative, I think. Uh, bad loot though. I got really lucky with these two purples. I guess I should save up and upgrade them, but I think I'm still going to max my meta progression tree first. Uh, let's go to cores, because I think we want to grab the blast fire cannon. Bullet explosion radius by 4%. Number of consecutive ability explosions, 1. Every time you kill an enemy with explosion, reduce ability cooldown. Ooh. <laughs> no, that's probably secondary ability. I was hoping that would reduce, like, the meteors. Bullets gain bonus speed, kill an enemy with the, with the ability, chance to spawn a homing bullet. You know, that's not actually that good. Or what is the gravity orbs? Oh, just three gravity orbs. I was forgetting to actually grab that. Text is a bit small at this res resolution, but that's fine. Let's go back to augmentations. Uh, so we can't get bullet generator, but do we need it? Not overwhelmingly. I'll probably just go with the base crit chance. 12%. So let's go to components. I can upgrade this one and I want to see what it does. 4% extra movement speed. Not amazing, but I'm sure I'm going to have to put a lot of time and effort into maxing these out. So what else do we have? Yeah, complete the relic forests. Defeat a bunch of bosses, match in less than seven minutes, less than eight minutes. 16 adversary protocols. That might actually be the maximum, so I might want to just get that next time I play. It honestly, maybe more boss health. It'll make it take longer, but I wasn't too worried about the bosses, to be honest. Uh, component to level five, so we might want to actually upgrade one of the greens up to that. Let's see, three matches with Drone Deployer. I think each of these unlock new features. Boy, there's a lot. Well, that'll be fun to play around with, but for now at least, I think this is a good stopping point. I could do one more run. Let's at least see. What? Completed module, what? Oh. Maybe it's because I went overboard. It didn't like it. Well, let's just go to the Relic Forest and take a look. I don't know. You know what? These runs are short. Screw it. Let's go fast. Let's go fast if we can. I think the problem is the fastest would be 
probably the missile launcher run. Okay, chance to fire freezing bullets. Let's just do Scarlet Energy first. Bonus damage source. Okay, energy shield, crystal spikes. They're okay. I guess I'll grab it. Yeah, that's actually not that bad. It's not that exciting. But it's good bonus damage. Uh, let's see. Do I want to go for the poison swirl? I don't. Let's just go for quick crystals. The extra range might not have been a bad idea either. Okay. Rear shot actually isn't terrible. Disc blast is not really what I'm keen on. I guess just get the butt shot. Okay, achievement unlocked Seeker Launcher. Didn't I already have that one? Oh, maybe it's because I already unlocked it. It might be because I already unlocked it. Well, we're just going to keep punching this fire obelisk. I don't know if I'm going to be able to complete this in seven minutes. We might need other things. Now, do we want to just go for the absorption? Yeah, that's actually reasonably good. We're going for a lot of bonus passive damage. Or, like, bonus damage sources. But I guess that one's not terrible. A number of these are actually kind of halfway decent. Okay. So we've killed the Fire Obelisk, it didn't give me anything. Uh, every time you kill an enemy, three smaller bullets. The only problem is the range on that is a little on the limited side. Ow. So that mine was a little bit more painful. Okay, rear shot is piercing. I think I'd prefer homing. And fine, let's just get some more space debris. I still think the double space debris is better. Can I check what my um, secondary attack is? No. <laughs> I have no idea what it is. I should have checked. Okay, burst bullet gains piercing. Sure. Okay, yeah, what, do we, what do we think my chances are of what the hell is this thing? It looks like it's important, but it's probably just an environmental detail. It's a cool one. But I think that's actually all it is. I guess the one downside with me wandering around super hard is I don't get... I, I probably kill less enemies if I'm moving too far too fast. Okay, well, let's see, Nova Marker explodes. Now nah, let's just do two crystal spikes. Oh, right, I was gonna say this earlier. If uh, if you guys listen to Synthwave often, ooh, bullets that hit enemies or obstacles release electricity. This one's tempting, but let's just go for that big fire rate boost. Uh, but yeah, if you listen to this kind of music and you have any bands to recommend, uh, I'm all ears. Because I like listening to this stuff and 
I used to listen to all of the the like compilations on YouTube of like, hey, here's just a bunch of synthwave. Uh, but kind of over the last couple of years, I've realized like I'm not actually sure uh, how much of that is legit and how much of that is just like random YouTubers just yoinking soundtracks. Or not soundtracks, but like people's albums. Uh, let's see, Radius of the Absorption. Yeah, let's go for it. Another Fire Hop disc, interestingly enough. Um, and so like, it feels kind of ick uh, to be listening to music that uh, might not be uh, on the up and up. Like, it's one thing to pirate it for yourself, which I'm already kind of not okay with. It's worse to specifically give somebody else ad rev bucks to listen to somebody else's music. Uh, let's see. Range of Scarlet Energy, Frequency of Energy. Let's probably do Frequency. I'm surrounded enough. Probably. It'd be like if you, uh, if somebody downloaded all of my videos and was like rehosting them somewhere and you were watching them on that site instead. Uh, let's see. Just one extra. Well, do we want to do the poison bullets? Actually, we do. So the reason why we want. Ow. The reason why we want the poison bullets and stuff like that is. Ooh, firing your last round, bullets in a circular pattern. Fire rate. Otherwise, every time you hit an enemy with Scarlet Energy, you gain that. Or Lightning's gain area damage. Let's just go for the Lightning area damage. At least for now. Uh, da -da 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 -da. What was I going to say? Um, but yeah, so I'm not super comfortable listening to that. I'd rather actually find the artist and either buy the al album or uh, just find whatever streaming service actually has their work and listen through that instead because uh, then it wouldn't feel kind of weird and scummy uh, let's see extra bullet is a homing bullet yeah there we go I think that's the butt shot is now homing which I guess I don't care too deeply about it's good but I don't think it's oh oh it turns into just a seeker missile I was actually hoping ow we might not survive this one I'm getting a little um Oh, it's always too. It's the, the question of how big it is versus how fast the space debris comes down. I think the extra size was not big enough to really be worth thinking about previously. So I think faster debris is better. Uh, da, 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 da. But yeah, so I used to like, like to listen to a lot of Synthwave, but because the compilations weren't very good at crediting the musicians, I actually have no idea who I was listening to. There was a couple, like, was it Starscream? Um, and is it Perturbator? Something like that. Uh, I listened to them. They were good, but I wouldn't mind more. I prefer the more indie ones, too, if possible. Like, every once in a while, I'm like, hey, I like listening to post-rock. And I'm like, and, you know, I, I get a number of people saying, like, yeah, I like post-rock, too. And, uh... Let's go for this one. Being able to hit and destroy enemy bullets is probably smart. Is there... Yeah, it's probably a good idea that I hang out here, because I think that's our next... Um... I think that is our next fire obelisk, and we kind of want to destroy it ASAP. We're not getting this in the seven minutes I was hoping for, but whatever. Uh, da, 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 da. What was I going to say? Oh, right, but when I talk about liking post-rock, I get a bunch of people chiming in saying, like, yeah, I like post-rock, too. And, uh... Let's just go for that one. Um, and I guess as, as part of it, they'll be like, yeah, have you heard of, like, uh, Godspeed, you Black Emperor, or, like, 65 Days of Static, or s stuff like that. You know, some of the more, like, obvious... Uh, mainstream ones and I don't hate them uh, in fact I listen to them often 
It's just, I already know they exist. I don't need recommendations for, like, the most popular things ever. So it's like, um, if I mention I like uh, superheroes, uh, it would be like saying, hey, let's see, do we want do a lot of damage? Is this worth it? Yeah, I think it's worth it. Let's just get that second second shot, even if it hurts my damage a little bit. I think it's worth it. Um, but yeah, if I said I like superheroes and somebody was like, yeah, have you ever heard of Spider-Man? And it's just like, Ugh. or I like roguelikes. Have you heard of Binding of Isaac? Not, nothing against people making that recommendation is just functionally meaningless to me. And I feel bad in that situation because I, I feel thank... Uh, I, I don't feel thankful and therefore I feel rude. And I don't like that feeling. Because I want to come off as thankful. I want to appreciate recommendations. Oh, extra bullet is a homing bullet. Yes. That's worth it. I always go back to... Uh, I, I'm sure I've told this story recently-ish, but I was talking to my brother, and he was talking about one of his friends who considered themselves to be like a very ear-to-the-ground gamer type person. Somebody who was like really in tune with all the cool new releases, and um, and like they knew all the best games out of that year or something. This is the same year that, like, Hades and Outer Wilds had come out, or, like, it was something like that. It was, like, one of those, like, really big banner years for best releases ever, uh, especially in the indies, indie space. Oh, this thing, this weird thing that I was like, hey, this is suspicious. I wonder if I have to destroy it or something. There's our answer. I do. Uh, let's see. You know what? I'm actually going to do the electric field. I was kind of hoping it would land on the Nexus so I could uh, stand in it and blast things, but whatever. Um, but that, you know, my brother just listed off a couple of the games that I had been playing. Uh, and the guy had no idea. I'd never heard of them before. And it's always weird to be in that situation because I, I don't want to be like dismissive of a person's estimations of themselves, but it's it's off-putting to say like, hey, you know, I'm I'm like really in tune with gaming and I know all the best games that came out this year and then just you don't know about like even a fraction of the best ones. Um I know I don't want to be judgmental for that kind of thing because that's rude. Let's see, six shots, fire, poison bomb. Yeah, let's just go for that. Or oh, it's dead. <laughs> um, ooh, crit chance, dash count, and extra damage. See, that's a good one. I'm curious if we can ever get a legendary though. But one way or another, let's put this one on. I'm gonna need so much though. I guess we're actually kind of close. We can dismantle these too. So dash cooldown, move speed, or crit chance. Let's upgrade this one. Uh, it's barely anything, but it's worth it. They go up to level 5, too. So that would be, what? Eh, 16% crit chance. It's not amazing, but it's still pretty good. I know those extra stats are going to be handy, too. But, uh, where was I even going with this? I know, just the idea of... Wanting to find something new and feeling like you've plumbed the depths already. But, like, in my mind, I know there is way more indie stuff that I've never even touched, both in, like, the music scene and games. And so, like, I want more of that at some point. It's, ah, ran out of juice. It's fine. Uh, do we want to grab this? Yeah, sure. Restore half your health when you get killed, one charge per run, or... And now 50% works way better for me. Oh, I can even get this one. It ain't done yet, though. That's an expensive potato. All right. Anyway, uh, with all this said, Court of Hour is out now on Steam in Early Access. It's It got at least one one big update uh, since it launched, and they're probably working on all sorts of other ones. And it's also six bucks, so if you want to pick it up, it is uh, pretty cheap. I'm looking forward to seeing where they go.
Actually, is it early access or is this just a launch title? No, it is just a launch title. Huh. So I guess what you see is what you get unless they want to add some more. That's fine. Oh, and we got Thunder Chain finally, so I can mess around with that. But anyway, I guess with all that said, if you like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know. And if you want to see more rad new games every single day, then hit subscribe because I got tons to check out and show off. But for now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.